What's up guys, it's Anders, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the picture plugin in FL Studio to tweak your vocals and make them sound far more better, or go a little bit crazy and make it a completely unique sound. And when your track is finished and completely ready to be released, Today's channel sponsor will be able to help you out with that. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast, efficiently, and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. So DistroKid is who I personally use for all of my releases, both as unders and for Warrior Sound Beats. Now for today's tutorial, let's dive into FL Studio and get picture ready. Okay, so here we are in FL Studio and for this particular tutorial, I'm using this project here, which is just a template that I made. If you wanted to download this template, work from it yourself, then you're able to do that in the link below. And what we're working with is just this. And what I'm gonna do is put a couple of vocal sounds in there and use picture to get them to fit nicely into the track. Or at least that's the hope anyway. So what we need to do is just get some vocals first. Now you could be recording your own or you could be using some samples like I am today. In this case, uh, this track is in A minor, so either C or A minor vocals are gonna work for me. So let's have a look and see what we've got that we could use. Do, 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 do. If you like any of the vocals in this pack, I'll link the pack in the description below as well for you. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this in onto an empty channel like so, uh, and I'm gonna just double click on it, and I'm going to hit Command and L, and that's gonna assign it to a blank channel for me, so it's now assigned to the channel over here. <laughs> All right, and the other thing we could do is we could right click over here uh, and we could set the channel up so we could do like track mode audio track and we could find the Frankie Young one and link it to it like that and now all the colors are linked up and it's named it for us. Super helpful that. And so what we need to do now, it's been sent to the channel and everything for us, we need to get picture on there. So you can press F8 and that's gonna load up the plugin picker for you and I'll just type pitch and it will go to the picture for me. So let's drop that guy on there. Now we know that we're working in A minor. It's already set to minor, but it's set to C. So let's set that to A. That's far too much at the moment. That's because the speed is instantly correcting the pitch. We need a little bit of a lead into it. Otherwise it's just gonna do that snap weird kind of sound. If you like that, go with that. But in this case, we're gonna just dial it back a bit. Let's just go to medium and see how that feels. It's a little bit better, but it's not quite correct in that bit where it wobbles between the two. So we'll go a little bit further back. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, something else that's important up here, if you've got a stereo vocal, um, it's gonna either reference the left or the right, or you can put it in the middle to reference uh, both tracks. This is a mono track, so just leaving it on left is gonna be fine. But if you've got a stereo vocal, something that's already got reverb on it, for example, might need to do that so it gets the right kind of feel. Okay, the other thing is, um, you can see these switches here, right? These allow us to bypass particular notes, so. <laughs> We can see it's pretty much jumping to C, B, and G, I think, or maybe C, B, and A. What we could do, we could either turn these off like so. So it doesn't even have the option to snap to those. Now, the other thing you can do here is push it a little bit over to female. It knows it's going to be probably a higher octave. And it will just catch those a little bit better. If we put it onto male. Yeah, it's missing that higher bit. So let's just push it up here. Cool, that's not doing too bad. Now we could also control this with MIDI, which is kind of crazy, right? So look, we have like a MIDI input port number, right? So what we could then maybe do is make a MIDI track and send it to this picture. That'd be kind of mad, wouldn't it? Other thing we can do, we can put octaves on have it control with octaves as well. So the way to set this up is we need to have a MIDI track that's gonna feed into this. So let's do that real quick. Let's make a new pattern. We'll call it Voxy. And for our sanity stake, we'll stick it below here 
and then we'll take channel 26 and we'll drag it up so that it snaps and becomes part of it and look it colored it for us and it's going to be in there that's super useful so on picture let's have picture open and do midi input port number all right we're going to set that to 16. And the only reason i've done 16 is it's one that i know that we can use and it's going to be free in here so in this track here as you can see we're currently set to the audio <laughs> It's going to play it super low and pitched. What we want to do is change the track it's going to, to 16. So we need to add a MIDI instrument that basically outputs MIDI so we can send it over to the picture. So let's do that. So with F8, if we type in MIDI, we can do a MIDI out instrument. We can drop that in here below our audio. And that guy is literally called MIDI out. And we're going to send that to port 16. And that should hopefully now go to our patcher. So now when we go into the piano roll. <laughs> So if we want to use MIDI to control it or use the harmonize feature, what we need to do is add a MIDI out. So if we press F6 again, and we can just type MIDI and we can grab a MIDI out and we'll just drop that over here on our channels list. And we've set picture to MIDI port number 16, just so we know what one it's going to. And then our MIDI out here, we're going to set that port number to 16. Okay, this is now going to be our instrument that links over to patcher and I've just chosen 16 because I know it's a port number that's not being used in the project. So if we go over to our patterns at the top and we can use this new one called Voxy or we can make a new one and call it Vox MIDI and we're going to drop that pattern just below our vocal and then we're going to take that one and just snap it up and it's colored everything for us which is great. We can now use MIDI to control that vocal or the vocal harmonizer anyway within picture. So let's open up the piano roll again. And just as an example, we can just put some notes in here and you can hear what it will do. All right, so we need to play around with it a little bit in here and just make sure we get the MIDI timing nicely with the changes in the vocal. That's how it tends to work best. And we've got the option of replace or mix. So it's now hard wiring it to go only to the notes we've put in. Okay. So this is where we can kind of get mad and just do all kinds of crazy chops and pitches. So we can just literally do some kind of messed up melody like that. It's always going to be in with our track. Let's see if we're just set to the right thing. We are. Now if you find that it's... Now, if you want to use the foreman uh, and change it down so it feels like something completely different, you can really mess it up that way. Now, we can also switch on uh, more of these by simply adding more notes or more layers. So we can do things like putting chords in, right? So if we went up to A4 uh, and we just do like a simple triad, so the triad is going to be three notes uh, separated like so. <laughs> Uh, and then when it changes to the next section, so something we can do when you're putting these notes in, if you want to see what's in the background, we can do like a, a ghost track on the background, right? So if we go up into the top left corner and we go down into helpers, uh, we can do background wav form like so. Cool. So if we go over into our audio tracks and we've got the wav form on like that, we should be able to drag it in like that. And now we can see it in the back, so we can sync everything up with it, right? Um, now we know that this is starting right at the start of our waveform, but what we can instead do, we can just line everything up like this, uh, and we could see that perhaps the next part is just going to start here. I have no idea really what chord we could go to. You'd need to experiment or know exactly what is contained, but something like that might work for us. <laughs> And then 
the next one just go down an octave perhaps like that should make that one nice and short bring them all in like so kind of mad right Now, as you can see, you can't disable these, but we can use those switches like we did before. If we just want to keep it to the lower tones, and we can also adjust the balance here. Now, the other thing we can do is, is have uh, just MIDI on with octaves. In this instance, I don't think we need any of the MIDI play around, but I just wanted to show you how you can get creative with that and using it. Um, I think we are actually going to be fine just having it in here with picture set sort of like this. Maybe even take D away. And who knows how well it's going to blend in. Probably not at all. And you know, let's drown it with some reverb. And let's send it to some delay. in context let's try it with snapping into key as well. and let's give it its own little bit of delay just to roll off so we're just going to put delay in like so uh, fruity delay three do you know what? We'll even just grab a preset to make this nice and quick. Uh, diffused, what timing are you set to? One over four, uh, level about right, wet. Mm, take it down to about halfway. <laughs> fine tune maybe we can pitch it down no, that's not gonna work for us let's go MIDI again let's use our voxy mid and just have a really low tone we'll see what it's like pitched down um, let's take these down an octave just do command and down drops us down an octave like so <laughs> All on A3, be ruthless. There you go, it's got a whole new kind of tone there. Or we could do maybe something like this, which is going to be roughly the sort of melody we got. It's because it wobbles up. There. There you go guys, that's just a few ways you can have fun with picture or just use it to give a little bit of vocal correction and help something sit in your track. And remember, it's not limited to vocals. Now you know this information, you can use it on anything and be experimental with it and just really create and shape your own sound. Hope the video has been helpful for you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.